انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار praise be to allah we praise him and peace be upon the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his family his companions all together radiyallahu anhum ajma'in to proceed it is with sadness and tears that we see some of the deviant sects occupy or unlawfully seize inhabited areas however it is but with delight and tranquility that if you return o sunni muslim to the words of the wise and the scholars you will find that the issue of these deviant sects who have deviated is of little importance and that they will never have a banner they will never have a flag of leadership upon the muslims what is of more important in speech naam is what the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said together with this we will present some statements in this assignment or in this khutbah that which narrates to the reality of the khawarij last week we gave a khutbah about mercy about rahma and this is the way of the believers to be mercy, merciful and if you have mercy upon those on earth the one above the heavens will have mercy over you irham man fil ard yarhamukum man fis sama ar rahimun yarhamukum yarhamuhum ar rahman yawm al qiyamah so the khawarij the first group to ever appear the first sect that appeared in islam yani deviating away from the main body of muslims and in this khutbah i'm going to mention to you what one of the great scholars of the past has mentioned wahab ibn munabbih rahimahullah wahab ibn munabbih who lived in the first century and amazingly he mentioned this speech he was born in the year 34 hijriya and he died 114 hijriya so his contemporaries were uh, his contemporaries were the young sahaba who he benefited from and likewise the tabi'in the elders of the tabi'in that he benefited from wahab ibn munabbih what did he say he said do you not see that i lived at the beginning times of islam and i swear by allah that the khawarij did not have a group except that allah divided them because of their evil condition not one of them khawarij came out with his opinion except that allah struck him and none of this ummah ever gathered together under one man of the khawarij from tariq dimishq tahdib al kamal and sir alam al nubala so look at his wise statement because bid'a splits and sunnah gathers tawhid gathers unites and shirk splits and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about the those who split up wala takunu min al mushrikeen don't be like the mushrikeen the polyth the polytheists min al ladina farraqu dinahum those who split up their religion those who split up split up their religion wa kanu shi'a and they were into groups and sects kullu hizbin bima ladayhim farihun in the other verse every sect rejoicing with what it has everyone saying i'm right and you're wrong let's go back to the dalil qala allah qala rasulullah an ijma' of the salaf ijma' of the sahaba radiyallahu anhum and you will see who the men are in this time ta'riful ilm thumma sata'riful rijal not the other way around you know the knowledge then you come to know who the men are in your time wahab ibn munabbih who learned from the sahaba radiyallahu anhum he said that the khawarij never united upon one person 
Never. They are, because when one says, I am the Amir Mu'mineen, the other one says, I'm an Amir Mu'mineen, another one says, I'm Amir Mu'mineen, and they're all fighting against each other, making takfir against each other, causing havoc in society. The Khawarij, the first of them, their father is Dhul Khawaisra. The Prophet ﷺ one day was given out the booty. But Dhul Khawaisra, he wanted a share from himself. Because the Khawarij, they are dunya people. They seek the kursi, they seek the authority, and they seek position. And so they, he said to the Messenger ﷺ, I'dil ya Muhammad. Look how rude he was. Be just, O Muhammad. So the Messenger ﷺ said, وَمَنْ يَعْدِلْ إِذَا لَمْ أَعْدِلْ Who is going to be just if I am not just? Umar al-Khattab was ready to strike him. But the Prophet said, دَعْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مَعَهُ رِجَالِ يَقْرَأُونَ الْقُرْآنِ لَا يُجَاوِزُ حَنَاجِرَهُمْ Leave him, for they will be with him men. They read the Qur'an, it doesn't go beyond their throats. They read it, and Shaykh Muhammad bin Hadi al-Madkhali said, it doesn't go to their hearts for understanding. They read Qur'an, it's data, ya akhi. It's not faham, without understanding. They misquote, they mention verses here and there, but they don't have the understanding of the salaf. They may quote to you, وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُ بِمَا أَزَى اللَّهُ الْكَافِرُونَ The three verses in Ma'idah, they quote to you only one. Whoever does not rule by Allah's law, then they are disbelievers. They will quote you only that verse. What about the other verses in Ma'idah? And the other one, الفاسقون. So they could be oppressors and they could be sinners, but they concentrate on takfir, calling Muslims kuffar, and especially the leaders indiscriminately. This is not to say that some of them aren't, but indiscriminately like one of the posters of their of theirs why all the rulers why all the muslim rulers are kuffar that was the poster why all the muslim all of them you met all of them you established the hujjah upon them because that is the condition before you call a muslim a kafir you have to establish the hujjah upon them iman has levels kufr has levels so how is it you rush to perform takfir over the muslims khawarij the first sect ever to appear they were rude, just like they were rude, just like Dhul Khawaisra was rude to Rasulullah rude in their manners with the best of the people, Rasulullah And the Khawarij nowadays, likewise, they're rude in not accepting the hadith of Rasulullah with regard in hearing and obeying in the righteous matters, not in the haram. At-ta'atu fil ma'roof. At-ta'atu fil ma'roof. La ta'at al-khaliq. La ta'at al-makhluq fi ma'asiyat al-khaliq. There is no obedience to the creation in the disobedience to the Creator. So, الطاعة في المعروف And then what does that mean? That means you don't go out with your tongue and your sword against the Muslim leaders, causing havoc because you will cause more harm than good. Bloodshed will increase in your society. Women will be left without homes, without shelter. Children will be displaced. And we see in that. Khawarij. They cause more harm than good. They said to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, اعدل the Prophet ﷺ said, وَمَنْ يَعْدِلْ إِذَا لَمْ أَعْدِلْ He is the most just. They do not follow the narrations of Rasulullah ﷺ. If they were to read Sahih Muslim, Kitab al-Imara, the book of leaderships, they will see the narrations in there, one after the other. When the Sahaba asked the Messenger ﷺ about the leaders of the Muslims, they asked, what should we do, O Messenger of Allah? That they take, the, the Prophet ﷺ said, even if they were to strike your backs and take your wealth, and do not remove that sam' wa ta'a. Do not remove that hair and obeying. Of course, in the righteous matters. Not in the haram. If they tell you drink alcohol, you don't drink alcohol. If they tell you deal with riba, you don't deal with riba. What's upon them is upon them. And what's upon you is upon you. And what is the way of salvation? We don't start from the top. We start from the bottom. Just like Musa salam, he started with the people, with Bani Israel. Even after Bani Israel was saved from Fir'aun, the tyrant, who said... When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Bani Israel, Musa alayhi wa with Bani Israel, what did Musa alayhi wa do? Did he khalas say, Naam, this will be the next, we'll establish Islamic state in this place. And we'll say, that wasn't the goal, ya Abdullah. The goal was the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was the first goal, is to worship Allah. Establishing Islam, this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a gift. As Allah mentioned, Surah Nur verse 55. Ibn Munabbih continues. 
Do you not see from his speech then that which is appropriate for our circumstances today? In our times, the Jama'ah of, of Juhayman in 1979, they went into Masjid al-Haram and he said he is the Mahdi. And they killed many people in the year 1400 Hijriya, which is 35 years ago. And Allah Ta'ala severed and divided it up due to it being an evil group. They killed Muslims in the Haram. And you have until today, you have those rogue groups in the Muslim countries blowing up innocent people in the name of Islam. What confirms to the speech of Ibn Munabbih is what Ibn Taymiyyah rahimullah said. Listen to these words carefully. He, Ibn Taymiyyah rahimullah said, who died 7 to 8 Hijriyah, the Prophet sallam ordered to fight against those who fight for a corrupt deen from Ahlul Bid'ah. Like the Khawarij, he said. And the Prophet sallam ordered to have patience with the oppression of the leaders and prohibited fighting against them. Who's saying this? Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah. And rebelling against them. And this is why perhaps Allah made it possible for many of the oppressive kings to have power for long periods. As for the prophesied liars, then their power does not last for long. Rather, it is a must that they are destroyed. Since their corruption is general in the deen, worldly life and in the hereafter. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, look at the two verses he, he brought, Ibn Taymiyyah brought, to show you that those who lie against the Messenger وسلم, the Ahlul Bid'ah, their way is cut off. They will be destroyed. And that is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and if he, Muhammad Sallallahu had forged a false saying concerning us, we surely should have seized him by his right hand or with the power and might and then certainly should have cut off his life artery. And in, that's in Surah Al-Haqqa. And in Surah Shura, أَمْ يَقُولُونَ افْتَرَاهِ أَمْ يَقُولُونَ افْتَرَاهِ عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا فَإِنْ يَشَئِ اللَّهِ يَخْتِمْ عَلَى قَلْبِكَ or say they, he has invented a lie against Allah. If Allah willed, he could have sealed your heart. He could have sealed your heart. So Allah mentions that even on a supposition of a lie, it is a must that Allah punishes the one who lied against him. And the khawarij, they lie about Allah. They quote verses out of context. Those verses which I mentioned to you, وَمَن لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَعْزَرَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَئِكُمُ الْكَافِرُونَ Ibn Abbas explained it and he said it is kufr dun kufr it is and another wording just in case they said this one is da'if another wording which has no cloudiness in it he said kufr it is not the kufr that you rush towards it could be if he uh, rejects any part of the sharia but dealing with riba Muslims deal with riba those verses are not just for the leaders therefore Muslims altogether all of us if we make halal that which is haram, not just by practicing the haram, but by making istihlal, by, by believing, not just saying, believing that riba is halal, believing that, uh, that those affairs, that fornication is halal, believing, then this is what takes you out of Islam. And that is after the establishment of proof. Because Allah said, Surah An-Nisa, verse 115, min ba'di ma after the guidance has been given to them. You don't just take Muslims out of Islam just like that. So all of us are responsible. The rulers and the ruled. The Prophet ﷺ said, Kullukum ra' wa kullu ra'im mas'oolun an ra'yatihi. All of you are shepherds. And every shepherd has a duty to his flock. So this is for the rulers and the ruled. Because in the hadith he mentioned the imam, the, house, the, the man in his house, the woman in the house, right down to the servant. From the imam, the leader of the Muslim, right down to the servant. So all Muslims, the khawarij corrupt the deen and the dunya. If they came into power and rule any country, because they are people who follow desires and differ amongst themselves. Ibn Munabbih continued and said about them, if Allah had given the khawarij strength in their opinion, the world would have been, become corrupt and the highway, highways would have been cut off. Hajj to the sacred house of Allah would have stopped. So do you not see, O Muslims, that the khawarij have caused corruption in the dunya upon the peace of the people in their cities, their villages and their countries. The people have caused to abandon their homes. Did the khawarij not cause the highways to be cut off and the elimination of security? Do you not see how the khawarij have deprived the Muslims of their deen? 
they cut off the means to the Hajj and the Umrah due to causing the Muslims to abandon their homes and the loss and the dwindling of their wealth. I was in Saudi Arabia in Medina at that time a few years ago when the Khawarij went out to Ula and they went out and they saw a group of so they looked like to them non-Muslims. They shot them all. They shot them all. Only to find out that they were reverts. They were people who became Muslim. French reverts. And they shot them all. This is the way of Khawarij. Corruption. And there was in Riyadh when they dragged that non-Muslim they dragged him yani, while driving the car. Is this Islam? This is barbarism. Barbaric acts. Invite him to Islam, ya akhi. Call him to the shahada of la ilaha illallah. And they said afterwards in the news that this person was even a sympathizer. A sympathizer, he would have probably accepted Islam. And even not allowed to kill non-Muslims in the, in the Muslim lands. The Prophet said, Man qatala mu'ahadan lam yarih ra'ihat al-jannah. Whoever kills one under oath who has a pact between you and him, an agreement, he will not smell the fragrance of paradise. So they cause corruption. Rather than invite us to Islam, invite us to the deen of Allah with peace and tranquility and calmness. This is what Islam is. Islam is not chaos. It's not havoc causing problems in societies. Islam is mercy. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wal Aqibatul Muttaqeen Wala Udwana Illa Ala Al-Zalimeen Wa Ashadu An La Ilaha Illa Allah Wahdahu La Sharika Lah Ashadu Anna Muhammadan Abduhu Wa Rasooluh I'm going to just mention to you Ibn Abbas Radiallahu Anhuma Look when he came The cousin of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He came to Ali Radiallahu Anhu After the Khawarij have gathered 6,000 in number in a place called Harura, ready to go out and fight against Ali radiallahu anhu. No mercy, no understanding. So Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu mentions, and he speaks. He said, Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, inna al-qawm kharijoon alayk. O Amir al-Mu'mineen, these people are going, are ready to go out against you. Qala da'ahum. He said, leave them until they come out. I will not fight them until they fight me first. Look at the mercy of the Sahaba. Anhum. Those who followed Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in mercy. I will not fight them until they fight me first. Who's saying that? Ali ibn Abi Talib. The fourth caliph. Because when these Khawarij came out, they were ready to kill the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. So don't be surprised when they're ready to kill innocent women and children. Yes, we are against all forms of terrorism. Whether it's terrorist, state terrorism or terrorism that are done in planes or trains or whatever. All of it is haram. All of it we speak out against. And we speak out against also what is occurring from dhulm, from oppression. From those that, are, that bring that oppression. In, an, in the world's biggest open air prison in Gaza. Yes, we speak out against that. And we, speak, and, we, and, we, and we call to the truth regarding that. And we call to justice regarding that. But what is the way to salvation? What is the way to security? It is not nationalism. It is not a Palestinian flag. The way to security and salvation, it is the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Not nationalism. Not my tribe. Not my oh, it's a piece of land that you're fighting for. No, it's not D, it's not land. It is aqeedah. It is aqeedah, it is belief, it is manhaj. So what people do of, their, of, of, of shirk and bid'ah, these are the consequences. And of sins, these are the consequences. Not just for the people of Gaza, around the world. What the ummah is upon. And when you see the ummah coming for hajj, not knowing how to worship Allah, when you see that the Ummah is in this pitiful state, you know the Ummah requires education. And education starts with who? Start with yourself, with me, myself and I. With myself, to go back to the deen of Allah, to practice the sunnah of the Messenger Wasallam, to love that which Allah loves, to hate which that which Allah hates. This is where it's the, the salvation and victory will begin and will come back. So Ibn Abbas said to Ali, Ya Amir Mu'mineen, 
He said to him I will go out to them I will go out to them To advise them Look at the mercy of Abdullah ibn Abbas Radiallahu anhu Look at his bravery He's not afraid He's going to go in the midst of the khawarij 6,000 strong And he's going to establish the hujjah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And establish the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He said فَلَبِسْتُ أَحْسَنَ مَا أَقْدِرْ عَلَيْهِ I wore the best cloak from the cloaks of the Yemeni cloaks. Huh? And Ibn Abbas was very beautiful and handsome and ready. Then I came upon the Khawarij. 6,000 of them. I entered upon them. And they I entered upon a people. I never see any people like that. In terms of their striving, تَحْقِرُونَ صَلَاتَكُمْ إِلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ وَصِيَامَكُمْ إِلَى صِيَامِهِمْ You will find that your prayer is deficient compared to theirs. Your fasting is deficient to theirs. There were people who fasted, people who prayed. But what was wrong with them? Aqeedah. It was their belief. Because of that, the Prophet ﷺ said, they are the dogs of the hellfire. Kilabun nar. I didn't say it. Rasulullah ﷺ said, if it gets too hot, for some people and they have to walk out when they hear that, that's their problem. Rasulullah said that. That they are the dogs of the hellfire. Because they call Muslims kuffar. And they cause more havoc than good. And they shed the blood of the Muslims. They shed the blood of the Muslims left, right and center. And look what they said to Ibn Abbas. One of them spoke out and said, Look at him what he's wearing. Regarding his nice cloak. Regarding his nice cloak. That he, Ibn Abbas said, that I saw the messenger Sassim wearing better than this. Wearing better than this. So you may complain about my nice cloak, but I saw the messenger Sassim wearing better than this. And then he quoted them the verse, قُلْ مَنْ حَرَّمَ زِينَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي أَخْرَجَ لِعِبَادِهِ وَالطَّيِّبَاتِ مِنَ الرِّزْقِ Regarding those who make haram, the zina of Allah, to dress good. This is from the zina that Allah has allowed. قَالُوا فَمَا جَاءَ بِكْ Look how rude they, are, they were to him. No mercy. Why did you come? They're saying to the cousin of Rasulullah So don't be surprised when they speak about the scholars and call them scum. Don't be surprised when they call them government scholars or they call them bin bush or whatever they want to call. Let them. But this is the way of the khawarij that they speak out against the ulama. And the ulama at that time were the sahaba radiallahu anhum. And so Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhum said to them, Naam. And he said to them, I have come from the sahaba. I have come from the best of the people, the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to advise you. And there's no one from the Sahaba amongst you. Allahu Akbar, the biggest proof against them. There's no one from the Sahaba amongst you. وَلَيْسَ فِيكُمْ أَحَدٌ مِنْ أَصْحَابِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ. And likewise, we say to the Khawarij of today, وَلَيْسَ فِيكُمْ أَحَدٌ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ. There is no one from the scholars amongst you. They are hidden, as one of them said recently, a few years back. They are hidden. They are underground, yes. That's your scholars, hidden. But the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah are open. They are apparent. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلَ مِمَنْ دَعَىٰ إِلَى اللَّهِ Openly calling to Allah. وَعَمِلَ الصَّالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ This is open da'wah. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz who died 101 Hijriya. Whenever da'wah is secret, then it is corrupt. And that is a da'wah which is corrupt. The da'wah of Rasulullah sallallahu was not hidden. It was open. Open da'wah. And that is to call. Qala Allah. Qala Rasulullah. Qala Sahaba. None of the Sahaba were amongst them. I've come to you from those whom the revelation was sent down. Alayhim nazal al-wahi. Wuhum a'lam bi ta'wilih. And they are the most knowledgeable of his understanding of the Qur'an. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum. And likewise today, the most knowledgeable of those who know the Qur'an and the Sunnah ala fahm as salaf salih they are the ulama. It's impossible. Allah's Messenger وسلم, said that the ulama, in every generation there will be, every hundred years, they will revive the deen. Tajdeed, the mujaddidun will come and revive the deen as a whole. They will show us what is the five pillars. They will show us what are the six beliefs. And they have done. And they will show us the correct understanding of jihad. Uh, not facade, not corruption, not blowing yourself up, suicide bombings, killing innocents. This is not from Islam. Laysa min al-Islam fi Islam is not moved by your emotion or my emotion. 
Islam is, does not change because what events change and occur around the world. Islam will never change. وَلَن تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا وَلَن تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَحْوِيلًا The deen of Allah is going forward. But we'll go forward with those few who are upon the blessed path. قَلِيلٌ مِنْ عِبَادِيَ الشَّكُورٌ Few of my slaves are grateful. وَلَن تَجِدَ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ وَلَا تَجِدَ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ وَلَوْ حَرَصْتَ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ You will not find most of mankind even if you try as true believers. Take that example of Abdullah ibn Abbas عنهما, and keep away from the misguided groups hadith in Bukhari hadith of Hudayfa radiyallahu anhu fa'tazil tilkal firaq jami'aha leave all of these groups we don't need them stick to the Quran and sunnah ala faham al-salaf leave all of these groups fa'tazil tilkal firaq jami'aha even if you were to bite on the roots of the tree until death reaches you until death reaches you and before that he said alaykum bi jama'at al-muslim imamahum be with the jama'ah of the muslims who are they the way of the sahaba not just anyone just stands up and says i'm jama'at al-muslimin who got dealt with here then later on they became sufis that's not a jama'at al-muslimin jama'at al-muslimin is the way of the sahaba radiyallahu anhum the way of qala allah qala rasulullah qala sahaba they make those ahadith of bay'ah for themselves jahl ignorance upon ignorance islam is free from that islam is clear the del- the adilla Quran and Sunnah is clear. Doesn't need anyone to start reinterpreting. The Sahaba have already established what Islam is. So be careful whom you, de- whom you take your deen from. Be careful of these other misguided groups who, meet, who misguide many of the youth. Young girls going to Iraq. Why are they going? Young Shabab. Just as the Messenger Sallallahu described them. Hudatha'ul Asnan, Sufaha'ul Ahlam. Young in teeth, foolish in their dreams. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the Muslims from the evil of the khawarij. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aid the Muslims in Gaza and other than Gaza from those who are oppressed around the world. Salvation is in going back to his deen, going back to the sunnah of the Messenger Wasallam, in the mannerisms that the Messenger Wasallam came with. That is where salvation lies. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who establish the salah in the masajid, make us better in our ibadah. Make us better with our parents and our children and our brothers and our sisters, upholding the rights of the people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us better in, a, in the communities and return to that blessed aqeedah, aqeedah of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And that is not shirk, that is not Ya Allah, Ya Muhammad. Aqeedah of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah is Ya Allah only. Tawheed, 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 and Sunnah, Sunnah, Sunnah. That is where salvation lies. Tawheed and Sunnah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and your families and children. Aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fa astaghfiruhu inna wa ghafur rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid. Wa